let's do a follow-up review of the Jackery 240 watt um, power portable power station. I think that I think I've used it for now a couple camping trips, so I just want to do a follow-up. All right, so the Jackery 240 uh, portable power station. Um, I've had it. I don't know almost a month I'd say but I've, anyway I've used it on like three different camping trips this I really like these um I got the 240 and now I wish I had gotten one of the larger ones my next one will be the 1000 I think or whatever the one is right below it and here's the reason why I'm going to be buying a Ford Transit van and just what this little 240 can do is awesome. It's great, and I could see myself yanking this out of the van. I have a Dodge Caravan that I use for camping right now and traveling, um, and it worked great in that, but I can definitely see myself, and I've done it before I pulled it out to while I'm at the campground to play music on my phone and not lose all my charge. Or uh, honestly, I plugged a, a lamp into it, like a little portable camping lamp. It, that is rechargeable, but this kept it, of course, charged up and everything. I don't have, have the solar panel for it. But what I like about it, it has a regular um, AC plug-in right here. And then it has the two USBs, uh, cigarette lighter plug-in or 12-volt plug-in. I really like that. I use that to charge. I have a um, rechargeable flashlight that I use with this one that uses a regular old cigarette lighter 12-volt socket one that plugs into like a car. Um, but I can tell you this, when I get the Ford Transit van, I'm going to upgrade. I'll keep this one uh, just because it's so portable to, to do various other things. But I'm going to get that. I will not get, for my personal, for personal reasons, the solar panel when I do upgrade once I get the Ford Transit van the Jackery solar panel. And the reason being is I don't believe there's anything wrong with it, but I've seen enough videos and I have some solar panels already that I know how to um, go ahead and connect them up to work with the bigger one or the smaller one too. Um, so I don't need it and I want, I want to mount it on the roof. So that's the different thing. But I say that, but that does not mean that I will not get it because I might just do that. Because to be honest with you, I'm not necessarily doing van life. I like to take big trips, uh, excuse me, really long like vacations and trips like that. So there's always something charging. So it could easily be kept charged off of my, um, in the van itself, which this one was kept charged on the van. Um, you know, I just plug it in and it worked. So I just want to give people like an update of this. If you're wondering about getting this, depends on what you're using it for. If you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of money and say you're doing van life and you can't spend a lot, I'd say not the cheap out and at the very least get this one, uh, which is like 240 to 260 bucks. And this will be definitely a good starter for you that I would recommend because it can, like I said, power basic things like laptops, um, lamps easily, a uh, variety of things. I want to say one of the van lifers also said they utilized this with a Dometic refrigerator. They had like two of these. Um, so I'm like, if they can power a refrigerator to switching these out every couple of days and charging one while one's doing this, then I can imagine that the 1000 will work great with uh, what I want to do in the Ford Transit van. And to start out, I may not buy the uh, Jackery uh, 1000, to be honest with you. I may just use this in the beginning to learn how to utilize it for... Um, excuse me, for electricity and how to get it set up correctly. And then later on, yank this one out and put the 1000 in its place instead of having a bunch of batteries, but have one very good battery and then a uh, larger, very good battery and then have a very good smaller one that works really well too as a backup and to take out of the van and use. Like I said, I had this out on the picnic table. Uh, no, excuse me, not the picnic table, but at the tables at my campsites, I take a table with me and at night, you know, I'd set up a la uh, lamp or something. I'd have something going. Um, one thing I'd recommend, even though it can power regular lamps and it'll last a long time powering a regular lamp, if you're going to use lamps and stuff, always switch to LED bulbs. Use LED bulbs because they don't take hardly any energy and it's just better, um, honestly, for how, the longevity of how long you want to use lamps and things like that. I always have strings of LED lights, things like that. Um, 
those really work well for camping to have if you want to put them around your van or just have them around a little spot so you have light because they take barely any energy. And then this little bad boy right here can do it for a long time. So anyway, the Jackery 240, highly recommend this. I'd say to anybody, get this. If you don't have a lot of money um, and you're not, for or you're just trying to test out how you'd use it in your van or your, or whatever your camping, uh, your camping vehicle is, you can start with the smaller one. It works really great. Um, I recommend it. Um, very sturdy build on this too. This thing is built really well. They did a really good job with this. It's very quiet too when you're using it. The fan, I believe, that's in it is very quiet. Um, I really like it. How much charge does it have? Let's see. Haven't charged it in a week. Still at 100%, guys. So anyway, this is a Jackery portable power station, 240. And you need something that works, this works. Um, anyway, I hope this helps somebody um, who's kind of on the fence. If you can afford to get the larger one and you think you really need it, then get the larger one. But if you're just starting out and want to experiment in building your electrical system and just have a battery that you can plug in as you learn along the way, this is 240 to 260 bucks. Get this one. This is good. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you.